let's talk about creating operators. All these operators we have, these little nodes, each one does a specific thing and we're able to achieve really complicated functionality by chaining together lots of little individual nodes. Let's say we wanted to create a node. There's two different ways we can do this. The first is to put your mouse over that grid background and you double click and you get this little pop-up dialog here. And we call this the op create dialog or the op create menu. And this has lists and lists, which we'll talk about later of all the different operators you can make. And essentially all you have to do is pick one, click on it. I can then click again on the background and I'll have created that operator. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And I'll show you the other way, which is kind of the more preferred way, which is to use the keyboard shortcut tab. When you hit tab, you'll immediately be presented that same op create dialog and you start typing the name of the operator. And you can see as I type it, it gets entered into this little search box here. And what happens is touch designer will gray out all of the other options. And the nice thing is we don't even have to use our mouse to then go back to that edge. We can just hit enter and an edge top in this case will get created right under where our mouse was. So this makes it really easy to just go through, you know, you, you hit tab, you open up the op create dialog, you start typing what you want and you don't even have to finish it because as you can see, I typed channel. I didn't finish channel or mix, but channel mix because it's the only one highlighted right now. If I was to hit enter, it would create a channel mix top for me. So those are the two ways that we can go about creating operators. I highly recommend getting into that habit of using the tab key to open up the op create dialog and even right from the get go, trying to search for the things you want by typing for them.